Hey, thank you for turning in for another episode of the Mike and V Bodybuilding Show. This is Mike, I'm V. Episode 26, Spe special guest today, Mike. Who special guest, uh, episode 26 in the house, all the way from the East Coast. Hold on, we always forget our most important people. Oh, that's right, let's take a step back. Yeah. Hey, because we always forget, guys, we just want to thank Peoria Ford, Iron Affinity, MHTH, <laughs> Big AZ Promotions, Metro, Metro Flex. Flex. Thank you all again. Anyways, back to our uh, back to our subject at hand. Should we? Yes. Come here. Um, all the way from the East Coast. Now living here in Arizona. Fresh off her first. Uh, I shouldn't say first. Uh, new IFBB Pro, uh, Jenny Ortano. Come on in, Jen. Thank you for coming on. Bro. Thank you for coming in. So. <laughs> in case some of you don't know, attention. Jenny Ortano, Mike. Tell that a little bit about Jen Ortona. I know you know a lot about Well, let, let, let me just do that. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys don't know Jen, Jen's on the East Coast. Um, I've known her probably, I don't know, maybe two, three years. Somewhere there, a couple of years. Um, watched her compete at the national level a bunch on the East Coast. Uh, was at nationals with her last year. Um, both of our bases were all sunk in. Yeah. Nice little kitchen like, um, But now, you know, new IFBB Pro, uh, just moved to Phoenix. So tell us a little bit about your journey to the pro card, and now you're in Phoenix, and what's coming up next? Okay, well, I started competing in 2010 in Boston. Wow. Uh, the Jay Cutler Classic was my first show, and um, from there I started competing at national level. And uh, my most recent national show was in Las Vegas last month. At the USA's? At USA's in July, I should say. And um, that's where I got my pro card. Nice. Well, that's interesting because you say you've been basically competitive bodybuilding for three years mm -hmm. and you have all this muscle. So, how did you? I mean, you didn't just come up with muscle. You were yeah, like, for what a long got time. you started? Yeah. Was it the figure skating? I mean, what was it? Um, I think I've always had an athletic sort of build. Um, Obviously. And I've pretty much always gone to the gym. Uh, but when I had moved back home to my hometown, after um, you know moving away for a little while, I had run into my good friend Jose Raymond. You guys don't know, I have to be pro. pro. Jose, Jose Raymond is in town right now. Uh, we'll be competing this weekend. And uh, he's a personal trainer at my local gym. So um, you know we just reconnected and got some training sessions with him. And through his uh, you know positive encouragement and. Uh, what he saw suggested that I compete or look into it at least, and um, so that brought me to where I am today, pretty much. And we talked a little bit about the sh before the show about you know setting goals, and you set your goal to go to the USA's and get your pro card, and you kind of wish that maybe you thought that through a little bit more, didn't you? As far as you wanted to more, add a little layer, more layer to that goal, where you you know you got second and yep. you still got your pro card, so you're thinking, well, I should have. Maybe I should have set my goal to win the overall because you definitely were a contender there. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, my goal was to do one show, one national level show. Pick one of the toughest ones, being USA's in Vegas, right. Glamour City, of right. course, and um, obtain my pro card. So, having said that, I did set out the goal. Well, I know you did, I but did you said you were wishing you would have. Of course, you know, you kind of, you just always, you know, you like that number one spot. For sure. But, um, you don't I'm, for great, I'm grateful. I'm grateful regardless. Uh, of course. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm, well, I'm looking forward to competing in the program. How does that feel when, you know, when you're, you know, you're up there and, you know, you, you're actually an IFBB pro? We've had a few on the show. And, you know, it really doesn't sink in for a few days, does it? It probably. Has it yet? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, but uh, it definitely it definitely took some time after me, you know, talking to people or running into people post show, right. you know, asking to compete. How did you do? And you know, you said, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a BB pro. pro now. So right. um, I guess after saying that a few times, it kind of ends up helping you, you know, convince Same yourself of what, sure, just, sure. what just kind of yeah. happened. I mean, a lot of IFBB pros use that pro card and kind of put it in personal training because obviously you know what you're doing. Is that something you might consider doing? I, I do personal training. Oh, okay. yeah. so, yeah, and is that something that you're taking up Taking up here? Well, I don't yeah. think I've gotten a breath in, so breathe. <laughs> here we go. So you go, are you going to I mean, are you going to, is there a home, local gym that you're going to train people at? Or? Well, I have to uh, thank Josh and Bella here at Metroplex for uh, welcoming me right after Vegas. 
um, to come in here and train anytime. Sign so the wall. I do con and sign the wall of fame. Of course. Make me feel I'm right jealous. at home immediately. Still so I do consider this my home gym Good. here nice. in Arizona. I, I want to. I'm sorry, I want to interrupt again. Get to train with you guys. Can I interrupt one more time? Sure. Maybe, maybe four more times. But <laughs> uh, you, you know, you say you want to thank Metroplex, but then you know when I googled you to find dirt on you, I just didn't find anything on the woman. But uh, it says torture chamber Metroplex. So I mean, you know, what's up with calling it a torture chamber? I saw the video. It kind of looked like torture. Did I say that or did Marte say that? <laughs> I think Marte really. Is. I think he See? wrote that. Yeah. What a workout, though. Yeah. I mean, you were really, you know, yeah. pushing you. Billy, Billy yeah. had us in, um, trained with Marte Rulias and uh, Charles Curtis right after Vegas. So it was great to be with, you know, top competitors. Top national level guys. Absolutely. Um, they're definitely going to be, you know, uh, they're two to watch out for. I'm sure they'll be getting their pro cards very, very soon. They're very diligent. They sure, Marte's coming up. Yeah. Well, that, you know what I want to talk about real quick is the, some of the adversities that you came through to get to your pro card, because I know there was a point in where it was you were up here and then it was down here and then it was here and here and here. So just, I mean, just I mean, maybe something that you could give to people that might be going through adversities through this sport, because a lot of people say, you know, life is generally what gets in, gets involved with this thing, your dieting and those kind of things. So how'd you do it? And, and, and also coming from a topper place, placed athlete down to not placing so high to now, I mean, yeah. you're a pro. And you didn't, a lot of people get discouraged and quit, so you persevered. Oh yeah, I just I go harder. Right, right. <laughs> a lot of people say that. Sure. Yeah, it just makes you want it more, makes you hungry. I love it. So, um, as far as adversity, yeah, I've had some personal uh, situations that I've gone through, um, but I kind of feel like, actually, I know that um, for me personally, and maybe some others will agree that keeping kind of keeping focused. It sure can. It can block out the any outside just stuff. Helps me. Um, Helps me stay focused and um, keep a clear head. Obviously, with training, it's a stress reliever. Right. Um, but my mom actually got extremely sick over the winter, and um, you know, I, I still had my goal set and uh, Vegas in mind. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that trainings help me get through the adversities, and um, you know, the adversities have also helped me push harder and want more for myself. That's awesome. So I think they kind of work hand in hand. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's cool, well said. And the second part to your uh, question about placing high and placing low, uh, yeah, I did kind of go through a phase where I wasn't doing as great as I hoped. I, I kind of went through um, a period of time where I was consistently placing top five and then kind of dropped down. Um, I was getting a lot of feedback from judges, which I think is important for all competitors to, to get. And, I was getting a little too lean, a little too muscular, maybe a little too hard, stuff like that. I also think with the introduction of physique coming in, it just kind of, you know, it, bit, yeah, right. blurred some lines and um, a little gray area. But I, I seem to think, you know, especially with now the new physique Olympia and um, going through a full couple of years of physique being introduced to the figure, it seems right. like, you know, um, it seems to be. Yeah, it seems to be more clear-cut. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Well said. Well said. Uh, what's next? What's coming up next for you? Well, um, I'm hoping to do my pro debut here right in my new hometown in Arizona. Which the is? Felicia the Felicia Rivera Show. Can't wait. The West hey Regional, guys. The West Regional. Center. Was it November 14th? Or? It's 14th and 15th. We're about yeah. four weeks out right now. If you guys watch this and you're not getting a ticket, shame on you. Yeah. You should all be getting a ticket and that show should absolutely sell out. It's up, it's up to us people to support Arizona Bodybuilding. So please buy a ticket, even if you don't go. I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a great time. It will. So now you're here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about uh, that Arizona weather versus East Coast weather and, and, and are you liking it here and, and how's the transition going? And, Transition's been great. Um, the weather is phenomenal. Uh, Pick the perfect time. That's what everybody's got the perfect freaking time to move here. You that's what everybody's wait. telling me. Um, my little dog Ozzy, he uh, he's adjusting really well. We he hope loves to have him too. on the show. I, you know, sure, you I guys probably take I him down to that him. lake over by Vince's place. That oh yeah, he probably loves that. He tastes thing. all the ducks. I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. So uh, he's pretty comfy, but um, it's it's been a very easy adjustment so far. I've only been here what two weeks. Right, right. But um, everyone's really friendly. It's easy to get around. Yeah. 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 And I'm looking forward to no snow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
I can say amen to that very much. We're competing, you know, obviously a lot of competitions the last three and a half years get to where we are now. Um, you know, we all know if you're a competitive bodybuilder, a lot of other people, there's a lot of sacrifice and a lot of people have to support you. Uh, is there anybody you'd like to, you know, thank publicly? Of course, my friends and family. And uh, I would like to thank uh, a couple people that have sponsored me along the way. One being um, Pat County from Christian Training back in Auburn. He's just been really a positive uh, influence in my life. And with any of his athletes um, and his students in his gym. And uh, my friend's dad, uh, Charles D. Virgilio, he owns a, a local dojo in uh, Arlington, Mass. Um, he's also been a supportive uh, friend and sponsor um, of my competitions and helped me get to, uh, you know, some of these That's locations you because right. competing is, it can be it's expensive. expensive. Yeah, it, it's, it's just expensive. It adds up quickly. Yeah. It's, it's a great hobby. It's a fantastic sport. And it's something I definitely plan on continuing. It's nice to have those people backing you up. You know, you know and so it, it's it's very hard. I mean, you got to be dedicated. You have to want it really bad. But when you love it like we do, it's 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 a small price to pay, isn't it? Especially you know, accomplishing your goal, getting your pro card. Mike's aspiring. But, you know, we're looking for Mike to get his pro card this year. So 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 I can't wait. Can't wait. Anything else, Jim? Before we get out of here, I'll be at the Hartford Europa. Uh, Oh, sorry, Hartford. not Hartford. Yeah. I'm, thinking, I'm back in Boston. Um, it's warm uh, weather here. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. um, it'll, it's the, it's the Phoenix Europa. So yeah. The Arizona Europa. Uh, yeah. At the Betancourt table. So, Great. If anybody's down there, please come by and say hi. This weekend, guys, come on down. Where is it? I think it's at the convention center. Yeah, downtown. Downtown. Um, Europa. Yeah, we'll have a booth down there, Metroflex. Uh, might be bodybuilding. We'll show. be live, baby. We'll be there. Come by. We'll uh, come by and say hi to Jen. Yeah, we'll come by. You know, get your spot on our show. Yeah. Too. I think um, uh, Charles Curtis will be with me as well. Oh, cool. So Charles yeah. Curtis Charles will be down at the Batonport booth as well. We'll be in the house in full effect. It should be fun. Yeah, it'll be a good time. And Jose Raymond, let's cheer him on, right? Absolutely. Right. My hometown Absolutely. boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Guys, thanks again. Episode 26. Jen Yertano, Mike Best, DJ, Vincent, Hills. You can never get it right. <laughs> never get it right. <laughs> and thanks to our videographer. Oh, and yeah. thanks to our videographer. Vince Clemens. Vince Clemens. Vince Clemens. He's got quite a pump going on over here. <laughs> He's been holding the tongue. He's my biggest yeah. sponsor, too. I get to thank Vince. <laughs> so, for my... We love you, Vince. Junior Otano, Vince and VJ Hills, episode 26. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We're out. <laughs> thank you.